Hi guys, welcome to your best friend channel. Today, I'm going to be working on a Mercedes-Benz GL450. I'm going to be replacing the fuel pump. First, I'm going to disconnect the battery negative terminal. The battery is located under the passenger front seat. To have access to it, I'm going to have to move the passenger front seat all the way to the front. And then, I'm going to get in the back seat right behind the passenger front seat now from the back door you lift that little plastic cover and here is the battery so what we're gonna do we're gonna disconnect the negative of the battery you can use either a 3 8 or a 10 millimeter socket get it loose and then disconnect the battery Before I do anything else, to remove pressure from the gas tank and the fuel line, briefly, I'm going to open up the fuel tank. These are the tools that I'm going to use to get access and to remove the fuel pump. This is how to get access to the fuel pump. Pull this down, fold the seat, and then pull it higher. Fold the seat all the way up. I have to use a T20. Pull the seat back. And then now from the front, remove the panel. Five F socket. Then you're gonna have to remove this screw here, here, here. Now we're gonna remove this one. It out, pull it up and pull the carpet out. At the doorstep, remove this. It has some clamps on it. Just gently pull it up. Just pull it out. Lift the carpet up. Pull the, the form out. Gonna remove this using the T20 again. We're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket to unscrew this. Pull it out. Now you can kind of like pull the carpet and out of your way. A piece of wood here to hold the carpet and I'm gonna remove this. Disconnect these connectors so I can have easy access. To disconnect the connectors, I use that small flat screwdriver, push that little plastic and pull down. For this one, squeeze the little plastic here. There's a little plastic right in the middle of it. You squeeze it, pull it down, and you pull down. 
it is disconnected I get it out of my way now I'm gonna remove the cover I'm just gonna use this and lift it without damaging it see That's it. Now I'm gonna remove this plate. This cover here has some strong adhes adhesive that hold it in place. So I'm gonna use a flat cover to give me enough, enough uh, force to detach the adhesive. What I'm doing is I put the cover here and Use a hammer, hit it as gently as I can. And then apply pressure to lift the cover. And then apply pressure. Now, as you can see, there was no real damage done to the plate. I'm gonna disconnect the connector, push the little plastic and pull back. I'm gonna remove the ring here. You only have two holes and the electrical wire. Connecting the electrical wire. This is the wire connector. This one here. So what you do is we squeeze the side and then you pull it out gently. This is the connector that go to the filter, fuel filter. And then you remove it from the pack here. Now disconnect this one by just push pull it up. Disconnect it. Leave it here. To remove this one, there's a green plastic here. You have to push it in, hold it, and pull it out. My next move is to take the fuel pump out and replace it with a new one. Installation of the new pump is the reversal of the removal. Thank you for watching.